Red breed, red tight, set the bar, take flight. Yo, yeah, I've been grinding since I'm young and they told me my timing was coming. I've been hustling with no fun and forget all the fame, get the money. I'm out of that lay where it's sunny. I've been eating since I'm young and since we ain't had food in our tummy. The life we was living ain't funny, but you could not take nothing from me. Put that on my mama, my daughter, my cousin, my brother. I'll show you. Way better than I can tell you. The type of dreams that they say. That's why I learned from my face. Don't do the handouts or the favors. Told my brother I'm gonna get this paper. Was left behind, I'll see it later. To keep it real, you don't need to wait up, lay it out on the Start your week by installing your game plan. Came from the bottom, rolls through the cracks. Spotlight on you, boy, you were at. I remember sleeping with my ribs touched. I remember sleeping with my ribs touched. today we have high aspirations as a team if we want to get there we got to raise
just in case my mic wasn't turned on. We'll see Teddy Bridgewater and the Carolina Panthers taking on Gardner Minshew and the Jacksonville Jaguars. EA Sports coverage of the National Football League is in Uptown Charlotte, North Carolina at Bank of America Stadium. Just a few moments ago, this building was shaking as the Carolina Panthers emerged from the tunnel here in Charlotte. They are ready to go as the Panthers are set to match up with the Jacksonville Jaguars. And he returns this to the 22. Oh, Out come the Jaguars, and it's Gardner Minshew, their second-year quarterback, leading the way. I know that people like him, and he's kind of a phenomenon in the league as Gardner Minshew, but I'm not sure he gets enough credit oh, for how well he plays the game of football at the quarterback spot. Remember, he was a six-round pick, and a surprise six-round pick at that. More than held his own as a rookie after Nick Foles' broken clavicle, forced him onto the field in the second quarter of week one. The Jaguars went six and six with him as a starter in 12 opportunities. Now they've got a chance to continue to progress and move forward with Gardner Minshew leading their team. And that is incomplete. A lot of force bearing down on him there. He could not hang on. It's third down. Jeremy Chin on the cover. From the gun, Minshew to throw. The open man is short. It's complete. And they're going to have this across midfield and inside the 45. A first down and then some. Give them 29 yards. First down. So opening drive, third down. They complete the slant to move the sticks. And ordinarily, it's a high percentage pass when you throw it. And receivers like to run that route because it gets the ball in their hands pretty quickly. Just a couple of quick steps upfield break towards the middle the ball should be there and then they can get do some work afterwards yeah he is out of bounds but not before he's inside the 30 and now we'll get a timeout looks like we've got a jaguar in some discomfort down there on the field definitely the last thing you want to see here in a preseason game we'll be right back so a good run by fournette now another first and ten from the shotgun now here's an inside give he had to fight that time. Ran through one tackle, but ultimately he's only going to get back to the line of scrimmage. So after the run for no gain, here's second and ten. At the Panthers, and that's incomplete. They've given him some different looks here defensively in the early going. He's only hit two of his first five passes. With a big third down coming up, he's hoping he's got a play dialed up that can take advantage of whatever the defense throws at him. Here comes the seventh play now of this drive as this is third and ten. Out of the gun is Minshew. Forced out to his left. Strong coverage by Carolina. And on we go to fourth down. They certainly did a nice job improvising there, extending the play, hoping someone would come open downfield, but they never did. A 46-yard attempt. I don't think this will even, nope, it doesn't even get there. Well short. Now oh, wait, is my game on Madden? All Madden? Yeah, it was on all mode. Hmm. This will remain a scoreless game. Well, that opening drive looked good for a moment there, but they'll wind up being turned away thanks to the missed field goal. And those especially hurt when you come into a game on the road. You're trying to get things to go your way early, and now you suffer a setback right out of the gate. Now the throw pulled in by Anderson. Five yards on the catch there brings up second down. A gain of five brings up second and five at the 41-yard line. Throwing Bridgewater. Open man is Robbie Anderson. And he's out of bounds just before the midfield stripe at the 49. Seven yards there at a first down. First and ten at the 49-yard line. From the shotgun, it's Bridgewater. Yeah, I'm just going to send the rest. So it's my turn. Completes it once more to Anderson. Give him 10 there. Good enough for a Panther for... Yeah, I'm just going to do that. Make this little bye faster.
Here's Minshew. And he'll be hit as he releases it. And that'll fall incomplete. His big tight end, Tyler Eifert, the intended receiver. And now it's second down. Yeah, this is caught. A spectacular one-handed grab there. 16 yards, a first down. Well, we know he has pretty good hands on display there. In fact, he only needed one of them. Yeah, nowadays, all these receivers work on this, right? They do the one-handed catches off the machine in practice. They do it with their quarterbacks. They do it contested, uncontested. They make it part of their repertoire. Brings up second and a yard. On second down, here's Fournette. Runs through the contact. Oh. He winds up giving a yard back there, and now it's third and two. Well, I would have figured after the nine-yard run on the previous play, getting one more yard wouldn't have been much of a problem. But apparently it was, and now it's third down. And this one into the hands of D.J. Shark. And he will have a Jaguars first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. Now the offense going to use the first, the first of their timeouts. They'll have two remaining as we step aside here in this first quarter. There goes a deep ball in zone and oh. nearly picked it off. He had a chance to come down with that in the end zone, but it'll wind up just being incomplete. That one complete. He finds Shark. And he's taken down, but not before reaching the 10-yard line. A good pick up there, 26 yards. So not quite a first and goal. It's first and 10 from the 10. After one, 7 nothing. on EA Sports. And now a throw on first down there, but it's incomplete. It certainly didn't appear that that's where he wanted to go with the ball initially, so he tried to get something out of it by dumping it off to his running. And that is caught. Touchdown, Jacksonville. Colin Johnson there to make the grab. And the Jaguars are within an extra point of tying this one up. Now Doug Marone not even hesitating. They're going to go for two. A lot of people might call this backyard football. Sometimes yeah. just understanding who you've got out wide and who you're going to throw it to. Give him an opportunity to go up and make a play, even when contested. Looks like that one worked out pretty well. The trust factor, in effect. To kick off for Jacksonville. And Lambeau now, after the touchdown, he'll kick this one away. Oh, that was far. And that'll carry over the back line of the end zone for a touchback. At their own 25-yard line. This Carolina offense at the line, ready to go. And they had to wait a long time to get the football back. Probably not what you were hoping for when you got an offensive tummy. Agreed. What you were looking for is the defense get the ball yeah. back pretty quickly, right? Hoping for a three and out. So that didn't happen. You can't yell at your D for that. They've got to take care of their own bit. Oh, wait. Yeah, I forgot. I was going to send these. Business. And... down Dobbs to throw there pressure you go. comes in oh. he's brought down it's a panther sack Steven Weatherly able to run him down for a loss of 12 that time that huge loss on the sack makes this job much more difficult it's now second down and 22 nice. yards to go the throw taken in by Cole it's a pickup of 12 and that'll set up a third down the Jaguars on third down. They've been okay. Two for three thus far. This is third and ten. Look like the screen pass no. is taken away there, but what a nice job improvising, finding other options and completing the pass anyway. And he can't quite intercept it. Zone coverage, free safety was there. Couldn't come up with it, and now it's fourth down. That's what I need. They'll try and throw for it here. They're finding Keelan Cole. 
And he'll go down, but not before getting this inside the 30. So not only do they convert on fourth, but they pick up 22 yards in the process. So from Panther territory now, it's first and 10 as they're down to the 29-yard line. Got an open man, Keelan Cole. And they'll get this down to the 10. It's another first down as they look his way again, this time 19 yards. And the Jaguar first down on the carry, Thompson. And he'll get about four there as he takes it from the 10 down to the six. When you find that kind of yardage, you couldn't be more confident as a ball carrier. And guess what? You're going to go back and tell your offensive coordinator, I'd like to keep carrying it, thank you. Now a second down throw for the end zone, but it's incomplete. Right up to that point, I was about to say, he's had a pretty good half catch in the football, but... Let's just be honest about it. He should have caught that one. And he knows that. That was one right in his bread basket. Got his man. It's caught. Touchdown, Jaguars. Keelan Cole there to make the grab. And the Jaguars add on to their lead. CD for them. This has just been an offensive explosion here in the second quarter. Yeah, it held scoreless in the first quarter. Now they find the end zone again here in the second. So Just gotta try to keep the lead. Oh, I was gonna say, we already have it back? No, I wanna fast forward both. They run for the first time with Divine Azigbo. Now he's able to break through one tackle, but it slowed him down enough that he could only manage getting back to the line of scrimmage. And the big fella stuffed that one up in a big way. I think doubling him has to be a priority because you can't move up to the next level if you don't take care of him first. Looking to throw on second down. Dobbs. They'll tussle for it, and this is going to be caught. And he's dropped just shy of the 25 at the 24. A gain of 13. It's a first down. They'll run with Thompson. And not much to speak of. Call it a one-yard gain up to the 26. The last play got just a yard. Here's second and nine for the 26. Brings up second and nine. Out to Cole on the right side. Now the Jags will use the second of their timeouts as the clock will stop with 37 seconds to play in this first half. First down, Jaguar. So here's a first and 10 at the 38. Now Dobbs. He'll rifle this one deep right. And that's caught inside the 30. And he'll go down, but not before getting this inside the 30. 36 yards on the play. The Jaguars now will use the last of their timeouts as they'll stop it with a little over 30 seconds to go in the first half of play. And it's intercepted at the goal line. Read it well, and it's picked. And the return goes up to his own that echo. 17 yard line. Oh. Intercepted. <laughs> Still with some juice on that path.
Trying to shake off the interception. He'll look to throw. It's complete to Cole. And he takes this up to the 40-yard line before being corralled. 15 yards is the pick up there, and the drive starting very nicely. First down. Jacksonville. Certainly no settling into the drive there. They came right out on the first play and attacked the middle of the field for a big gainer and a first down. And he rifles one incomplete. Keelan Cole, the intended target. That'll bring up second down at the 40-yard line. On play action, it's Dobbs. Steps away to his left. And able to break one tackle, but then quickly brought down. But a nice little gain. Give him seven there on the tuck and run, and they're in better shape now for third. The heavy set out there. Three tight ends in formation for third and three. And he is going to have a Jags first down. It's a gain of six that time on third and two. A nice first down pickup on a gain of six. First down, Jaguar. Throwing here, Dobbs. And this will be incomplete. Physical play on the football there, and it's second down. Well, thanks for joining us here on a Thursday night in the NFL. Third quarter, second and ten coming up. He's going to fire one deep, middle of the field. And he bats it away, and it falls down incomplete. An important play right here, third and ten. And I would expect pressure here. And ten. This throw over the middle, taken in by Cole. And he will have a Jaguars first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. A big one there for the Jags. 18 yards, first down. And the Jaguar first down. Off the play fake. Here's Dobbs. And the coverage terrific there as that's knocked down and incomplete. Tyler Davis, the intended receiver. But it'll be second down. They've given up a few first downs on this drive, but getting the incompletion there, that should give them something to build on and maybe turn the tide. On second down now, it's Thompson. And he'll be out of bounds as he gets this down about the 21 or 22. Nine yards, not quite enough, and they'll be left now with third and one. They go with Thompson again. And he's going to have a first down here as he gets this one to the 17-yard line. It's a gain of four there, and it gives him a new set of downs. They couldn't ask for much more to this point in the second half. A gorgeous day, one-score game. First and ten here. His throw caught right around the six. And the Jags are looking at first and goal as he's tackled all the way down at the two-yard line. Now, after the completion, we're going to get a timeout, an injured player. And they've got three tight ends here on first and goal to add some extra mass. And he will get this into the end zone for a Jaguar touchdown. Taking it in from two yards out. And the Jaguars are able to widen their lead. Circle that drive because that might be one to remember. Well executed to give him a little cushion. Well, let's take it into the boxing ring. He talked about them commanding it, keeping the fight where they wanted to, whether it was in the center of the ring or putting them on the ropes because it was jab, jab, jab. And finally, the haymaker to put that drive away. And Lambeau now, after the touchdown, he'll kick this one away. And able to get this out to the 25. Panthers take over. Dobbs looking to throw on first down. Oh, the ball comes out on the hit, but they'll say it's incomplete. Keelan Cole, the intended target, and that'll bring up second down. Off play action. Dobbs, he'll rifle this one deep right side. That's caught inside the 20. And they will finally catch him, but not before he reaches the 8-yard line. It's a big play for the Jaguars. 41 yards. The chain gang hustling to catch up. Here's first and goal from just inside the 10. And intercepted. Maybe the turning point they need. Picked off with great anticipation. And a big turnover there as his guys will get the football.
Trying to shake off the interception from the last drive. He'll look to throw. Oh, incomplete. A turnover would have really helped there. Almost intercepted. Instead, it's just second down. It's second down and 10. Off the play fake. Dobbs. He lets this one fly toward the back of the end zone. And that is caught. Touchdown, Jacksonville. Keelan Cole ready for the regular season with his second touchdown of the game. And the Jaguars had six to their lead. They were still throwing with a comfortable lead here late, and now that lead even more comfortable. And your first thought is, is there bad blood that went into this one ahead of time that maybe they're seeking some revenge or they just don't like them? But the other thing that always hits me is, are they worried about playoff positioning? Right? Are they worried about, do you need enough points in case there's a tiebreaker that comes into play later? And they'll get him down right around the 25, actually the 26 officially, so a net gain of one there. 26-yard line. And the Panthers coming out now. And certainly... Now on second and 13, Dobbs got his man complete over the middle. That's Cole, and he's got it past the 30 before he's hit and dropped. So it's Jaguar football here as we welcome you back. And no doubt what they're looking to do is just salt away the final couple of minutes and escape with a win. He's going to air one out, and he was hit as he threw it there, and it forces it incomplete. Similar to a shooter in basketball who just connected on the previous shot. They run another set for him on the next play. Now, we had a guy who made the catch. They tried to get the big one downfield, but came up empty. He's going to take another shot here. It's caught inside the 25. Yeah, he's going to get this deep on a Carolina side of the field. It's a gain of 40. Well, he's certainly trying to earn his win. There's some more looks in the offense once the regular season heats up. If he continues to make plays like that, I think QB1 will look his way a little more off. And he will get this into the end zone for a Jaguar touchdown. A 20-yard touchdown. And the Jaguars add on to their lead. Well, there's just about a minute left in this game, and they're still taking it into the end zone. And you know they could have taken a knee there, but they decided to play this one all the way out. And I think their philosophy is we're going to give you everything we've got. If we just go ahead and take a knee now, we're actually showing you disrespect that way, like taking pity on you. They're not about to do that to their opponent. And Lambeau now, after the touchdown, he'll kick this one away. The Panthers take over first and 10 at their own 25-yard line. Carolina getting set to take the field. And this showing really not a good one on either side of the ball, but still three more preseason games to follow and a lot to play for here for the guys on the field now as they're hoping. will be a win for Jacksonville and they were buoyed Charles by a big second half that put this one on ice
once you're ready, go ahead and select Advance Week to get to your next game. This is second nature, all is automatic. Pilot. 